This tutorial will show you how to set some of the advanced options of a keyword campaign. When you're inside uh, a keyword campaign and you launch a keyword campaign and hit create, you name the campaign whatever title that you want, select the keyword, and it'll tell you if it's available or not, and you put in your, you know, your immediate response, make sure you include the reply stop to end messages message. We go into advanced features, there's a lot of things that we can do. If we select do not allow repeat hits, this is most frequently used when someone does a, a campaign like a couponing campaign. So for instance, if somebody says, you know, Ted's Pizza, um, you know, free app, next visit, or whatever with purchase, and they have a good enough offer that they only want them to get this offer one time, then we can select do not allow repeat hits. So the same guy comes in that has texted in and got a free appetizer. Two weeks later he comes in and he wants to text in for a free appetizer again. Well he's going to get this message. He's going to, it's going to say you already receive our great discount deals. Watch for the next one coming soon. And even if he, even if the customer comes in, replies stop, and gets out of the database, and comes in and tries to opt in again to get the free appetizer, it'll actually still give them the repeat hit, so it saves his information in there, even though it's opted him out of the database. He can opt back in, but he'll never get this, he'll never get this initial offer if you select do not allow repeat hits. Enable lead notification is often used with virtual business cards. If I select enable lead notifications, then any time someone hits this keyword that I've created, it will send me an email when, and tell me the phone number that has interacted with this keyword campaign. Or I can have it send me a text message. So I have my personal virtual business card. When they text Rob to 72727 or 55469, they get back an instant uh, uh, message with all of my information. You know, my, my title, um, my phone number, my email address, my Skype, a link to my mobile uh, website, my app so they can download it right to their smartphone and I select enable lead notifications and then I put in my mobile phone number. That way as soon as they text message in I instantly get a text message with the person's phone number that it texted in. This also works good for realtors that put signs on each house house one two three four five and when somebody drives by the house, texts in off the house, they get an instant text message of the person's phone number. They can follow up with phone by the person that drove by the house and texted in for pictures or more information and set up a showing or whatever. Um, enable email lead capture is in another video. And the last one that we're going to talk about is in keyword comments. Keyword comments is basically um, the format in which that we uh, do a lot of a lot of different things. For people that do um, something like, you know, text in to, you know, say we're doing a big fundraiser and somebody goes out and says text pledge 123 to uh, the phone number to uh, and then tell us how much you're going to pledge. So they get an instant reply back that says, you know, March of Dimes, reply to this message with the amount you want to pledge plus your name, email, and phone number. The person texts in, they get this instant reply message. Um, then we hit enable keyword comments and we say thanks for your pledge, watch, uh, you know, go to this site to complete your donation or mail to blah blah. So that's one thing. We can capture information. There's a lot of advantages of that if people just want, you know, uh, tell us what you think of our 
you know, establishment. Reply with your comments. It's a virtual comment card. People hit reply. We say thanks for your comments. That's a message after they send their comments in. All this information is saved in our reporting menu. You would just go to reports. You would pull up that keyword. And you would look, download the campaign log. And inside that campaign log would have all of those features. Thanks for watching this tutorial video. Hope to talk to you soon.